Hello guys, welcome back to this amazing series. In this lesson, I'll be walking you through how to download and install PostgreSQL, whether on Mac, Windows, or Linux. Now, let's get started. I'll be installing on Windows here now. Now, I'll come here and I'll search PostgreSQL.org. Now, I'll click on Enter. Now, I'll come to this download here now. You can see we have different, so different tab here. We have the home, we have about download, documentation, community, developer, and all. But I'll click on this download now. Now, you can see this is for Linux, this is for Mac, this is for Windows, and BSD. Now, I'll click on this window now. Now, this is the EBD. Now, I'll download this installer now. I'll click here. Now, if your system is actually 32-bit, this is for you. And if your system is window 64-bit, this is actually for you. But my system doesn't support 32-bit. So it's actually 64-bit. That's why it's not what. You can see it's not supported. Now, I'll click on this 64-bit now. I'll click on it. Let's wait for it to actually load. Now, the download has actually started, but I'll pause the download because I've already downloaded it before. Now, I'll go to my download folder now, here. Yeah. I'll click on it. Now, this is actually the PostgreSQL. Now, I've actually downloaded it before. I'll click, I'll double click on it. Let's wait for it to actually load. Now, I'll click yes. It will display an interface now. Now, you can see it's actually displayed the interface setting up now. I'll click on next. Now, this is the directory where the, where the folder will actually be stored. Program file, PostgreSQL 70. This is where it will be stored. Now, I'll click next. Now, these are the components of it. Now, this is for the server. This is for the PG admin for where we'll be writing our query and what setting up our database and this stack data now this is for installing other other software on it and this is the command line tools now i'll leave it the way it is i'll click on next click on next now you can see now an existing an existing data director has been found set to use port 54 that is the port for it now, this directory and its component configuration will be used for the installation. Click on Next because I've actually installed it before. Click on Next. Setting up now, to ready to begin what? Installing PostgreSQL on your computer. Click on Next. Now, let's wait for it to actually install. It may take like a minute or two before it actually install. Please ensure your PG server is shut down before proceeding with the upgrade. Okay. It may take like two, a minute to two for it to actually install. Let's actually wait. Now, let's wait for it. It's coming up. Now, let's, you can see, it's still coming up. Let's wait for it. Now, still loading. Like, a minute or a minute 30 seconds more. I guess it will have been done. Oh, 
max maybe two minutes or few seconds more Still installing. It's almost done. Now you can see it's almost done. Like few seconds left, probably. Now is installing. Probably like twenty seconds more it will have been done. Okay, now you can see now set up as finish installing PostgreSQL on your computer. Launch Stack Builder. We already know what the Stack Builder is. So I'll just uninstall this and I'll click on finish. Now, how do we know that our PostgreSQL has actually been installed? So we'll come to, I'll come to my search here. And I'll search for PG, PG, PG admin. Now, this is it. Now, this is the PG admin. I'll click, I'll open it. Now, if it's for the first time, it may take a while to actually load. So, just kindly exercise patience for it. Don't panic, just wait. Now, you can see now. It has actually come up. The password we installed, the password we used when we're creating the root password. Please, like I said, don't forget the password. We'll be using it here now. So, if you please, our in, this is the interface of the PG admin. Now, you can see it's very neat and very beautiful. Now, if I click on this server now, 
you can see now it will request for this password back again so you have to install so you have to use this password here so let me start my password now Now I will click on OK. You can see now this is the interface of it. These are the default database that actually comes with it. And this is where we can write our what, our codes, our queries, and all that. And if you want to create what database, so if I click here now, let's wait for it to actually load. So this is the interface of where we actually write our queries and all that. That will be all for this lesson. This is how to actually install and download PostgreSQL. Thank you. See you in the next lesson. Bye for now.